Hi, I'm David Armour with the United Church of Canada, and we've launched an emergency appeal for those who were affected by Hurricane Matthew in the Caribbean. We're getting calls from people that are asking, did my money get through? Is it getting through? Where is it going? What's it doing? So we've got Jim Hodgson here, who's our area coordinator for the Caribbean. Jim, I understand you were in Cuba when the hurricane happened. Yeah, I, I was in Cuba when the hurricane passed through at the eastern end of the island. I was in the west, but it was pretty easy to follow uh, what was going on in Cuba and the tremendous response that the Cuban people made in, in uh, evacuating people uh, and even their animals. Uh, so there was no loss of life in Cuba. Lots of other kinds of damage, and our partners are working on uh, repairs of buildings and, and roads and things like that. It was Haiti that was much more hard hit, and uh, the recovery is going to take longer there. Uh, we are working with uh, our two bilateral partners, the Methodist Church in Haiti and the Carl Levesque Cultural Institute, uh, as well as with the Global Act Alliance of Churches and Agencies. And these are all groups that have uh, a proven track record of making sure that uh, money gets to where it's needed and to the people that, that, that can use it and, and work effectively with, with uh, the support that we offer. Now, you and I were together in Haiti and saw those organizations. It was so impressive how well they did with every dollar that was donated, what they did in the schools that they had built, uh, how they supported those with the, with the seed collectives, with the micro lending. Um, it was really, really impressive. So Jim, people are wondering if all the wonderful work that was done with their donations after the earthquake, um, is that all got to be redone or was this in a different part of Haiti? Yeah, it's a slightly different part of uh, Haiti uh, that, that was damaged in the hurricane this time. Um, the earthquake hit uh, the capital city, Port-au-Prince, and that's why there was such a large loss of life, unfortunately. Um, the hurricane has hit in southwestern Haiti, um, a largely rural area, actually a very rich agricultural land, one of the bread baskets of the country. Um, and uh, the, the way the rain happened and the, the heavy wind wiped out people's crops and lots of their animals. So a lot of the work that we have to do going forward is uh, restoring people's livelihoods. Um, mm -hmm. So crops as well as uh, livestock so that they can uh, care for their families. We, we had the good fortune a few years ago, just after the um, earthquake, to go and visit uh, some schools that were rebuilt and, uh, and see how effectively uh, the partners were, were doing that reconstruction and how much the people pitched in Mm. With reconstruction, but then also beyond that, like how do you make it sustainable? Well, in that case, they were uh, working with the farmers and they provided a, a, a grain mill, a place where people could go and have their grain ground for a small fee, but that was enough to keep uh, uh, paying the teachers. That was incredible to see the donations and how far they stretched that work. So we're asking everyone who has a chance to go to the United Church of Canada website, uh, look into the latest news on this and make a donation to make a difference in the Caribbean area. Thank you so much.